School districts across North Alabama are closing early tomorrow to keep students and staff safe during the severe weather. You're taking a look at just some of the districts dismissing students early. Students in the Morgan County School District will learn virtually due to the severe weather. Way 31's Alexis Scott is live in Morgan County tonight. She spoke with the district's deputy superintendent on what the decision making process looks like for this type of situation. Alexis. Deputy Superintendent Lee Willis told me technology has been a saving grace over the last few years. Now, he says the school system relies on the National Weather Service and local media outlets to track the storm's path and strength ahead of time, giving them almost 24 hour advance notice. Making weather decisions for schools is one of the hardest decisions we make. And it's really good. Technology has really afforded us the ability to communicate with other school systems. About what we're doing ahead of time and in preparation. Lee Willis says the priority during severe weather is to always keep students and staff at all schools in the county as safe as possible. Depending on how bad storms get in the area determines what they do in terms of school. Schools can either move to virtual learning, early dismissal, or a late start, depending on the timing of storms. They hear severe weather whether it be at school or anywhere, they're freaking out. They want mom. They want to be home. Heather Carty was in the 2011 tornadoes in Alabama and is a mom of two. When it comes to my children's safety, especially in storms, whatever it takes. And if a parent is in an area that is flood prone, Willis says it won't be counted against the student if they can't get to school. Parents tell us, hey, you know, don't feel very comfortable. You know, the pandemic has helped us be able to transition quickly from traditional learning models to a virtual learning or remote model. Willis knows it can be frustrating hearing of change plans the day or morning of, but the tracking of storms is always different. And he says they'll always try their best to get the info out as early as possible. And Cardi has trust in the district's decision-making process. I mean, they do the best they can with the information they're given. It's given at such short notice, and they do the best they can. And I'm thankful for it. Deputy Superintendent Willis told me they get input from concerned parents, bus drivers, those on the Board of Education, and even other schools during severe weather. And he says right now they try to make the best decision possible every time. Reporting live in Morgan County, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.